They might sound similar in name, but there is a notable difference between Sonic and Ultrasonic toothbrushes. This video explains how they differ and what you need to know. For those who want to simply know which is best, it is the Sonic toothbrushes we recommend. Our top choices are linked in the video description. Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. The vast majority of electric toothbrushes available today are considered Sonic electric toothbrushes. They usually have dentist recommended features, clean the teeth well, are affordable and easy to source. Sonic brushes were introduced by Sonicare, a company now owned by Philips. These have been popularised under the brand Philips Sonicare, but many other brands such as Colgate, Burst, Ordo and more use the same technology. Ultrasonic toothbrushes sound similar, but are technically quite different. Sonic toothbrushes rely on a physical motion to clean the teeth. Ultrasonic or ultrasound toothbrushes don't. What is this magic, I hear you ask? Well, let me explain. We brush or clean our teeth to remove plaque. Plaque is formed by bacteria, fueled by the food and drink we consume. If not removed or disrupted, it can lead to all sorts of oral health issues. Brushing with bristles breaks up and removes the plaque, which at a microscopic level is made up of bacteria formed into chains. Ultrasound, on the other hand, is able to break these bacterial chains and disrupt their growth without the need for bristles. Thus, the once potentially harmful plaque is no longer. Sonic or ultrasonic both brush types create vibrations, but the difference is the number of these. To be classified as a sonic toothbrush, the motion or vibration from the brush has to be quick enough to produce a humming sound that is within the audible range of the human ear, 20 to 20,000 hertz. Sonic brushes typically offer 12,000 to 24,000 oscillations or 24 to 48,000 movements per minute. Ultrasonic brushes, on the other hand, use a much higher frequency of vibration. Technically, those emitting a wave of at least 20,000 Hz or 2.4 million movements per minute are ultrasonic. This frequency is too high to be heard by the human ear. They are therefore silent with no humming sound like sonic toothbrushes. But the most common frequency for ultrasound toothbrushes is 1.6 MHz or 192 million movements per minute. These high frequency waves are low in amplitude, therefore they can damage the bonds between bacteria without a bristle physically touching the area. It works to a depth of 5 mm below the gum line. Although clinically proven, studies have shown that in most instances the difference between a regular sonic toothbrush and an ultrasonic one isn't clinically significant. So, although technically you might not need bristles with an ultrasonic toothbrush, most do in fact come with the more common sonic vibrations too. This provides additional physical or mechanical cleaning via a sweeping motion of the bristles. Doing so removes food particles and bacterial chain remnants. It ultimately helps ensure the best results are achieved and does away with the strange sensation of not having to brush like we have and continue to be taught. Interestingly, the M8S ultrasonic toothbrush instructions specifically state to use and move the brush like you would a regular manual toothbrush in small circular motions. The market is dominated by sonic toothbrushes. This is because they are much cheaper and easier to produce. True ultrasonic toothbrushes are quite rare. Megasonics and Emident are the major manufacturers of these. They are normally considerably more expensive too. Whilst it does vary, a typical sonic toothbrush is going to be two to four times cheaper than an ultrasonic brush. A good sonic toothbrush might cost $70 or less. An ultrasonic toothbrush is going to cost $150 or more usually. Therefore, if you see any other brands claiming their brush is ultrasonic and selling it for less, do some more research to check it is really what is being claimed. 
we have come across some brands suggesting their brushes are ultrasonic, but in truth, they are not. They don't generate anywhere near enough movements. They just produce more sonic movements than your average toothbrush. Although Sonic Air pioneered the sonic toothbrush, those brushes from the likes of Oral-B with oscillating rotating heads do technically fall into the category of sonic toothbrushes, even though the way the bristles move is a bit different. This is because the movements produced by the brush fall within the audible range. Which one is right for you is really a matter of opinion. Ultrasonic is considered by some to be better because it's non-abrasive as you don't rely on the bristles for the deep cleaning and it can in principle reach areas regular brushing doesn't. Those with sensitive teeth or gums might benefit as may those with gum disease, inflammation or recovering from dental surgery. Despite this, you're probably not going to find many dental professionals recommending them that often. This is because in many cases, you're not going to achieve clinically significant better results. Given you have to pay quite a bit more to acquire one, you're likely better off opting for one of our top recommended sonic toothbrushes, linked below and demonstrated in the next video.